Just one more fight, just an exhibition. Two or three rounds at most, and this chump will be toast. Fight! No! If he dies, he dies. You got this, Wolverine. Rip his frickin' head off. <clears throat> Round one, fight. Ding. I must break you. Dun, dun, dun. Hey. What are you guys doing here? Oh, it's time already? Um, you saw nothing. Let's just forget about this, okay? Okay, okay. So, um, ta -da! welcome back to the sixth episode of the Shekabaka Shekakapow. Christmas comic reviews 2021. Yeah, I've had a bit too much coffee today, but it's fine. So, for today's episode, I have something cool. We are going to take a look at Wolverine, Black, White, and Blood. Not red. But blood. So this is a Marvel comic book, and um, I'm not gonna say who the writers and the illustrators are because this is a collection of many different short stories, and they all have different writers and different illustrators. But you have some familiar. Names here like Gary Duggan, Donny Cates, of course, and Jed McKay, and of course, we have Chris Claremont, and that's really cool. So, if you don't know who Chris Claremont is, Chris Claremont did this comic book here with Frank Miller, and a lot of people think. Frank Miller was the writer, but no, Frank Miller was the illustrator here. This is a really good Wolverine comic book. And last year we did one Wolverine title. We did The Long Night. And that is a very good comic book, but it's not a normal or very typical Wolverine story. In The Long Night, it's you have Wolverine just turning up here and there, but it's more of a detective story about these agents trying to solve a murder. So I thought it would be cool to do more Wolverine. And yeah, so if you haven't read any Wolverine titles at all, I would absolutely recommend you start with this one. I mean, it's Frank Miller. I mean, Frank Miller illustrated the comic book, but they collaborated a lot on the whole story. Um, maybe we'll do this in a different episode. And it's from the 80s. It's from 1982. So Frank Miller, 80s, violence. Do I need to say any more? Okay. Also, if you like the Logan movie, The Old Man Logan is a really cool comic book. That is the... That was... The comic book that was uh, inspiration for the movie. So, 
anyway, let's take a look at Black, White and Blood. So, as I said, this is a collection of a lot of short stories. And the cool thing is, the whole comic book is in black and white, except for the blood. So, everything is black and white, and then you have lots of blood. And this is a very violent comic book. I mean, all the stories are very violent. And... There were some stories I enjoyed more than others, but all in all, all of them were good. Uh, it was We have different stories from different times in Wolverine's or Logan's life. So you have some story, you have a story with Logan as Patch in Madripoor. You have a team up with Logan and old school Nick Fury. Here's Nick Fury and Logan, and uh, he's chopping up these Hydra soldiers. So, so that's pretty cool. We, of course, get to meet Sabretooth in a story here. There's some familiar, familiar characters here and there. Um, a lot of throwbacks to old comic books. And as I mentioned, lots of violence and blood, and that's why we're here. And also, um, in my opinion, Wolverine is always best when you have his solo stories, the Wolverine comic books, the stuff with him outside of X-Men. I'll just show you a little bit more. Because when he's in the X-Men, he's in the X-Men, he's he's cool and all, but you don't get to see him use those claws as much, and it's a bit watered down, but in his solo stuff, it's more violent, it's gory, he loses control and kills a lot of people. You get to see him use those cool claws and shank people. Yeah, so you, you get more bang for your buck. All right, so I don't know what else to say about this. All the stories were cool, different styles, um, and different, like, yeah, different style of illustrations. So you have something like this in one story, and then you have a more stylistic style, for example, here. But, yeah, I enjoyed every story here. It was really cool. If you're a Wolverine fan, this is a must-read. If you're a Marvel fan, if you want something, if you want to get into Wolverine, you can start with this or start with one of those. Okay, that's it for today, guys. Yeah, Black, White, and Blood. Check it out. All right. <sighs> what are we going to do now? Should we sleep? Sleep? We don't need sleep. <laughs> All right. Round two. Fight. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, yeah. Thanks for dropping by. Take care, and I'll see you in the next episode. <laughs> Chicka kapow! Dish.